today I have a new haul. And actually, this is an unusual haul for me. It's a new haul. It's A, a brand I haven't tried before, and B, kind of a program that's a little bit different than what I normally do. So, um, it's funny because you guys have always been like, I always watch Stitch Fix ads before your videos. And you have asked me to check them out. And guess what? Today, I am doing just that. I'm gonna check out Stitch Fix. Now, full disclosure, this is sponsored by Stitch Fix. They did send me these clothes, but they did ask me to give my honest review. Which means, even though it's sponsored, I'm gonna tell you how I honestly feel because it's no good if I don't do that. Like, let's be real here. I'm excited because here's the deal. As a fashion blogger, I spend a lot of my day combing websites, looking for things that are my aesthetic or that I like or that I wanna share with you guys. That is not realistic for everybody to do. It's just not. Most people don't have the time to shop and peruse online as much as I do. That's where a service like Stitch Fix comes in and is super helpful because you can put in a lot of information about yourself, everything from like what price point you wanna shop at to like what things you like on your body and they do the legwork for you. Uh, personally, when I was filling out my like little thing for my Stitch Fix person, I told them I was like, look, yo, a sheath dress has like a 10% chance of fitting me because it just always fights my hips. So I'd prefer not to have sheath dresses in my box because I just know personally that that's probably not gonna work and it's gonna be like organized grief sending me a sheath dress. So my shopper knows, okay, she doesn't like sheath dresses, we'll get something else. And I thought that's like such an amazing thing that you can put that level of detail, everything from like the colors to the shapes, everything else, to literally just like little nuances about your fashion. And then there's someone on the other end taking all of that information and finding items that are perfect for you, which is, Duh, what we all want. Now, if you want to try Stitch Fix, you can go down below. There's a link in the description to check them out. But now, let's jump into what my stylist picked for me. So this is the box it came in. It's a big old box. We're gonna just unbox it together. Now again, I have no clue what's in here. Someone has picked this out based on information that I gave them. And yeah. That's another thing too, you can like say how much you want to spend on an item. So if like you don't want to spend a lot of money, they can find cheaper items for you too, which I actually thought was like really nice. And I think the way it works is you like get, you pay like a styling fee, but if you buy the items, the styling fee can go towards the items you purchase, which is also like boom, the best. Here is the inside of the box. Everything is wrapped up, so it's literally like fashion Christmas, I have no clue with any of this. and then. There's like a little note. So here, here's what it says on the inside. On the inside of the box, it like gives you your next steps. My hair is sticking to my lip gloss. Everyday struggle. All right, here's what you do next. It's right on the top of the box here. So you try on the items that were sent. Pair them with favorite items for your closet, whatever. Whatever you love, you keep. Whatever you don't, you send back. Then you can also like fill out a survey that says like, this is what I like, this is what I did and what I don't. And that way, every time you get a box, it gets better and better. And then last, um, anything you don't want, you put in the prepaid envelope and it goes back to USPS, it goes back to them. And if you keep it, you pay for it. If you don't, you don't. It's like simple like that. Tucked inside pieces from your style. Oh my goodness, so this is so cute. So in your box, it gives you like little ideas on how to put the outfits together. So if you were like completely clueless and you have no clue, how to like style things, your stylist does the work for you. So these are little items on how to like wear what's your, what's in your box, which is like, this is so thoughtful. This is a thoughtful box. It's better than I thought it was. I'll be straight up. Then you get a little card. Again, more information on how to return it. They are, they give you all of the information that no things are left questionable at all. You were like very clear on what you're doing here. It's like, I appreciate that. I hate nothing more than when I open something and I like either don't like it or like I want to replace it or something and I can't figure out how to do it. So this is, you're good here. You got all the details. Let's jump in. Hands everywhere. I'm jet lagged from China. Okay, oh gosh, I don't even know where to start. Let's start in this bag. <gasps> Shoes. The first item we got is shoes, guys. <gasps> I love loafers. These are from Corso Como. They are a black 11 loafer. 
These are classy as F. These are business, but also comfortable. If you didn't know, loafers are coming back with a vengeance. And this is like a black staple loafer, goes with everything. I've actually had experience with Corsacoma before. They are soft and comfortable. In fact, I had a pair of heels from them many, many moons ago, and they were like the only heels I wore for several years because they're the only heels that were comfortable. So I'm really excited to see these loafers and also this brand in the box because I know that they work for me and I'm excited. So this sweater is adorable. It's got some nice little lettuce, lattice, lettuce, little salad, no, lattice, um, details here on the sleeve almost like it's being laced up but that's what I would call this is a lattice detail so there's a little bit of skin but not too much it's a hundred percent cotton and it's just a great layering sweater as well I feel like if we you know we've been talking about this a little bit more on my channel but I like basics that are a little bit different than just basics like they're basics but with a little funk and this is definitely another shirt that's a basic with a little bit of added zhuzh to it and I love the way it feels. There's something just really magical about fabric that's not synthetic. It's not something we get to see a lot in plus size clothing. So when I do see it, I like to point it out because we are kind of trapped in a world where 75 to 80% of our clothing is synthetic. And yeah, it's not terrible, but we like natural breathable fabrics too. And this is definitely one of those items. So this is the lattice sweater. It's actually super comfortable. Um, the only thing I'm noting is a little bit short in the arms for me because I'm tall, bloop, bloop, but it actually doesn't look too bad as like a three quarter length, but it's definitely something that like I would talk to my stylist about and just be like, yo, this brand in particular is just about a couple inches too short in the arms for me. Okay. I am mad feeling this item. I don't know what it is, but I just love this print. It is a skirt. Oh, obsessed. So this is this skirt is like epic let me tell you all the reasons i love it one i think plus size people should wear lighter colors wherever the hell they want which means i can wear lighter color on my butt which is what this is for because this is a pencil skirt b i love pencil skirts i just love pencil skirts period they make my butt look good i'm not going to complain about them ever c the fabric is light comfortable and airy i can wear it over or under whatever I want. It's like a very versatile piece, but the pattern is just so 70s. I feel like I'm living in this 70s world recently. I love it. I love the color. I'm, I'm like very pumped for this. I'm so excited to put it on. Um, I don't want to say it's my favorite item yet because I have like barely gotten into the box, but the stylist like nailed it with this item. This is so my aesthetic and I haven't seen this anywhere. So I'm like, like very grateful. <laughs> so grateful for this one because this is ah it's so cool i would wear this outfit <laughs> i would wear it 100 because it's comfortable and it look real good <laughs> oh yes mama yes so this is a faux leather um i guess biker jacket is what you would say and it is in this like brownish with a slight tinge of purple to it which i love Let's talk about something cool here. We've got a little bit of stretch paneling in it, so it's gonna be more comfortable. Sometimes when you wear like an all faux leather jacket, it doesn't have that movement. So you feel like that, like that crinkle sound when you move. So having this layering at the underneath of the arm and even here in the back means there's gonna be more stretch and it's gonna be able to adapt to your body. This is important because plus size bodies are different and no item is ever going to fit every single one. So sometimes these inserts of like stretch paneling and stuff like that allow it to fit all of our different body types by allowing it to stretch where it needs to and contract where it needs to. So I, I actually really like the design of this. It's got a fun little tab collar here, bloop, zips down the front and um, has zippered pockets here at the front as well. Inside it's fully lined in like a brown acetate and yeah, it's just a really great design. We've also got some zippered sleeves here at the bottom. What's fun about this is if you have a zippered sleeve like this, also with this extra fabric is you're able to do the roll, which I just love. I love to do the jacket roll. It's like a style thing. But this is a really, really amazing jacket. So great. Again, I haven't seen this either. I mean, I've seen some full leather jackets, but this one's really like high quality. I'm really impressed. So I actually really, really like this jacket. It has a lot of like freedom to move in it. I've got a sweater underneath it now, but I feel like it could definitely wear something bulkier underneath it. 
and I don't feel constrained. Like I don't feel like I have any issues moving my arms. Again, it's that elastic panel in it that's really making that possible. And it's just really, really comfortable and I feel like it looks pretty chic as well. So definitely a fan. So far my stylist is nailing it. <laughs> and I'm picky, yo. Like I was like, oh gosh, what if I open this and I hate everything and I was like a little stressed about it. Cause it's always hard when you're working with someone for the first time and you like don't know if they're gonna get you and whoo, thank goodness. And there's, I guess it's like a real experience for you guys too. Cause like I had panic in my heart and I, my panic is subsiding. <laughs> Next item, ooh, this is fun. So this is a lace back shirt. Comes down to a three quarter sleeve, has a little bit of a cross detail here in the front. Got a little modesty closure here, so if you're classy or if you're sassy, you're covered. I'm probably gonna stick with classy because um, there ain't much to see there anyways. But it's nice, it's got a nice little stretch to it and it's in a lovely navy and I feel like I need to wear more navy. As you can see on this shirt right now, actually this is cornflower blue if you want the truth. I'm getting really good at color naming. Cornflower blue, anyway. Now I feel like navy, because I have blue eyes, just really pops them out and I need to wear it more. So I'm actually happy to see a little bit of navy in here. It's a color that I don't think to buy, but does look really, really great against my skin tone and eyes. So thanks, stylist. You know, I probably would never pick this for myself, but I actually really like it on. Something that like I wouldn't think would look good on me and actually does look really, really good. So I'm actually kind of grateful because Again, this is pushing me a little bit out of my comfort zone, but yet with things that still fit and make me feel confident. Also, what is this? What is this? So this is pretty. Oh, this is Carl, Carl Lagerfeld, fancy. This is a blue and white print skirt. This is beautiful. Look at that print. That print is gorgeous. This is an A-line skirt, means it comes out of the waist and flares out, which is great for my hip types. It's something I told them to like keep in mind. So this is gonna go great against my body, kind of skimming my hips and then floop, flaring out, giving me some space for these candy juicy thighs. It's got a, a hidden zipper here in the back and just some really nice like flare out. It's also got a little elastic here on the side for some comfort, which means again, it's gonna fit a variety of different body types. I love the print. Again, it's something I probably wouldn't have picked out myself just because I get like a little bit like nervous about blues, which I don't know why that is I get nervous about blues, but I'm grateful for them for pushing me in that direction because I feel like I need to, I need to open up guys. I just need to open up. But yeah, I do need to open up and experience it more. So I actually absolutely love this skirt. I love how much volume it has. So I can be like, la 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 with the sound of music. So far, like, legit impressed. Um, I like everything. I was, I went, okay, real talk. I was really nervous this was gonna suck. And then I would be here doing this Stitch Fix box and be like, oh gosh, I hate everything. But literally, I have been so happy so far. I'm hoping that this continues through the whole haul, but like, this is genuine. This is me coming at you for real here. As an influencer, I very rarely do anything with a brand that I have not like worked with and explored before. And I took a chance on this based on other people's recommendations. And this was like a risky moment for me. And guess what? It paid off. Cause I'm like super happy. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting better. Okay. So this, oh, that's beautiful. So this is a beautiful black and white faux lace dress. So it looks like it's lace, but it's actually just lace print. You can see there, but it looks so rich. Like even though it's not real lace, it really looks like it. It's got a little bit of a dock neckline here and it flares out at the bottom, which is great for my hippity hippity hips. Uh, what I like about this too is the stylist noticed because there's such a flare in it that she was able to get my top size. That's something I usually have to tell someone, but the stylist picked up on that on their own and did that themselves, which is like, again, like, thank you for being thoughtful. 
uh, because I didn't actually point that out, but it's something she must have picked up from my Instagram or from something else. And it's this is awesome. I love the dress. It's got a nice little lining here as well. Uh, this is a little bit of a, not your standard acetate. It's a little bit more matte in finish, which is nice. But yeah, it's really, really lovely. It's lovely. I'm like super excited about how well this dress fits my bust line. Usually it's like too big up here and then like too small down here. This seems to hug my curves really, really well and I'm so grateful. I'm like having a moment right now where I'm not even pulling this out of the box because I'm like, I might have a fashion like heart attack because this is the most me thing I have ever received. I've received a lot of things in the mail from brands, but this is the most me item. Let me precurse this with, I just bought myself a velvet duvet set and my best friend sends me pictures of velvet things because if I could live in velvet, I would. So to see this blazer in this box, I am freaking out. Like, I don't even know how to explain how ecstatic I am about this blazer. It is not only my favorite winter fabric of all, velvet, it is also this amazing burgundy floral. Oh my gosh, I have red velvet pants I could put with this and it would be the most banana outfit in the world. I am so happy. This is the best. I'm li oh my gosh, it's so cool. It's got these amazing floors. It's a single button, which is great because more than adult, like more than a single button sometimes looks weird on me because of my hips. It's got flat top pockets here. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I can't stop freaking out about this. I just wanna put it on right now. I wanna hold this up a little bit closer so you can see just how rich and luxe that velvet floral is. It's insane, it's insane. It's insane, it's insane. It's literally, oh my God, I don't, I don't, I'm running out of words to put out of my mouth because I love this blazer so much. Oh, it's the bomb diggity, the bomb.com. So obviously I'm obsessed with this blazer, <laughs> it's the best. It literally is so me and it's very comfortable. Like I feel like the arm width in it, which I was like a little bit nervous on is just like perfect for me. And if it feel tight, I've got a sweater on underneath it and it still feels really, really comfortable. To go with it, we have these amazing burgundy pants. And what I love about them is they've got a nice stretch for them candy juicy thighs. It looks like just a one-way stretch, so just here, but not up and down, which is actually kind of nice. Sometimes I feel with four-way stretch jeans, they just stretch out a lot easier and they end up being baggier by the end of the day. So I actually like that. These have a button on zip front. They're in a lovely kind of maroon color and it looks like they have like a fairly straight leg down to the bottom. It's a standard um, denim cut, pockets in the front, which I like real pockets, not sewn shut. A little baby pocket for your secrets. And then again, some booty pockets. I feel like they have a good weight to them, which I really appreciate. And honestly, with that blazer, oh my gosh, it's a moment. A moment will be had. Sorry, I'm... I'm like seeing fashion magic in my in my mind right now and it's like I, I can't not see it and it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be the best but I love the color it's like a fun felt of bargain day we got one last little thing in here and Citrix also has like jewelry and accessories so you can get like the whole gamut of things you need to make an amazing outfit and this oh these are cool these are so cool. So these are some gold earrings, but look how cool those are. They're like dangly and artistic, and I am a big earrings girl. I don't do small, as you can see. I like them big earrings. I like these because they're dainty, but they're also large. They're still a statement earring, they're still bold, but they're also like not overpowering if I wore this with like an outfit that was a little bit more demure. So these are, these are perfect. This is actually like filling a hole in my jewelry wardrobe because I tend to gravitate towards like insanely large items that can only be worn with certain pieces. And this is like a great stable earring I can wear that's still funky, still unique, um, and just is me. It's me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm just gonna say I'm really impressed. I am really, really impressed. This stylist got what I like.
And I'm not saying that because it's a sponsor and I'm saying that because I legitimately believe it. Like there are items in this box that if I saw, I would like immediately beeline for and get. That velvet blazer, bananas. That white skirt, bananas. Everything feels like something I would personally pick out. It took the time and effort and I feel like the pieces are special. I haven't seen them on everybody else, which is also a huge problem with plus clothing. If you don't know this, let me educate you. There are a bunch of us fat kids in the world. There are not as many clothing options in the world. And so that whole situation of wearing the same thing to a party as another girl, extremely more likely if you're plus. But I felt like in this box, I saw items that I do not see every day. I saw brands that I don't see every day. And I feel like shopping with Stitch Fix would actually reduce that like likeliness of wearing the same thing as somebody else, which is another great like perk of this. And this is not something I expected would be the case. I actually expected to be familiar with all of the brands and all of the items and just be like, oh, they got my style. But no, for real, some of these brands I don't even know existed before this experience. And that, that is, challenging to do with someone like me. So I am very, very impressed. They are making an effort to not only provide clothing to plus size people, but provide unique experiences in fashion to plus size people. And they like literally, I like really impressed. Like I'm their biggest champion right now because it is hard to impress me to the level that they did with these items. So with that guys, if you want to check out Stitch Fix, you can, the link is down below, all the way down in that description box. Um, I like literally again had an amazing experience with them and I'm very impressed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. And with that, I will uh, check you later. Peace.